Hello my crafty friends, it's Beverly here over at Crafting Chaos with the video that I showed you for the first of my 12 projects of Christmas. I've cut my card out and this is how it's come out. So a simple um, way of doing would be to put a piece of card behind, stick it down and if it was a nice marigold that would be your sort of card done. So that kind of idea so you'd be like that but obviously you'd want a shiny gold or something but that's one way of doing it and then add your greeting or you could do like I'm going to do which is piece it back in so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to get myself a piece of card for on the inside of that um, here so that I've got something to stick to now then I am going to put the bottom part I'm going to put in fact I'm going to put the whole piece in blue because what I did have a problem with because it's so small I'm going to piece these back in but the really thin ones these ones haven't cut very well in this thicker card so I'm just going to adapt it slightly so I need to work out sort of how far up this needs to come so I'm going to get my ruler and I want it to be about five inches so I'm going to cut that now, five inches. And then we need to work out the width. So again, let's work out a width. And we're looking at about three and three quarters. So I want it five and three and three quarters. to there and if it's a little bit big I can always trim it down I'm just going to take a smidge off like so so that's that so we've got that now at three and three quarter inches wide <clears throat> so I'm going to get a piece of white card that I'm going to cut to three and three quarter inches wide everything today so this is going to be on the back of the inside of the card just to make everything look neat and tidy so I'm just going to measure roughly how long I need it to be and I'm looking at about three and a smidge inches so we'll do it at three and a smidge I hope we all understand the word smidge it's a word British well it's definitely a Lancastrian word I don't know about the rest of Britain to be fair but smidge is what we use so let's have a look how we're looking at that so I'm going to have this here I'm going to have the white one here and if it's a little bit big which it is I'm going to trim it down so I'm just going to trim this down just a smidge again because my measuring mustn't have been very good so let's try this piece now so on the inside of the card it's going to look nice and neat okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some glue around the edges. So just let me get my sleeves out of the way. I'm going to, on the right side, because that's the blue side I want showing through, I'm just going to put some of my Pin Flare Book Binding Glue and stick that down. So I'm just going to give it a chance to bond. And then at this top portion, we're going to have the piece of white card, as you see. So again, just around the perimeter. And then we're going to butt it up to the one that's already there and line it up like so. So that's going to hide the workings of your card inside. And I've got a bit of glue there that I didn't want, but it doesn't matter because we're going to piece something into that anyway. So now we're going to start piecing. And I've left them stuck to my mat because there's a lot of little pieces and it'll give me an idea where they need to go. So first of all, I'm going to start with this piece. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the glue here and I'm going to stick that into that recess. So this is how it's working when you piece it together. Okay. 
So then we're going to get the next piece, which is this one. And at this time, I'm going to put the glue on the actual thing that I'm sticking in because obviously I want that blue to show through, which is why we've done it that way. And we're going to stick that into position there. Now, because they've come out, they're exactly the same size, you're not going to have any issues with things not fitting and what have you. It's all going to fit perfect. Now, like I said, just to give that bit of dimension in the centre there, I am going to go ahead and stick the pieces that did cut back into whoop, their little slots, if you will. So just with the tiniest amount of glue, I'm just going to pop these into their respective holes, if you will. So I'm going to use my pickup tool, I think, to help me. I did sharpen it, so it should be working a little bit better now. So I'm just going to pick them up position them, fit them into the hole, like so. So some of them will be recessed, some of them will be on the top. I'm just going to smooth that one out with that, like so. So that's that one in. So the next one going in is this one. So I'm going to do this same again, just a tiny amount of glue. Pick my piece up, offer it up to the card and just slide it on in. And it will fit in because it's come out of the same, exactly the same size place elsewhere on the card. So now for the three parts here. Now I'm going to try and work out because I've stupidly removed them. So I'm thinking this one goes here. Like so. Yeah, I think that's where it goes in there. I just squish it in because it's just ruckled a little bit where it's been just caught a little bit because the blade I think was just a little bit too much pressure so which one's going where now let me see so um, I think it's going to be this one here that's the thinner of the two like so and again I'm just going to smooth out that edge there and finally this piece is going in there like so okay so it was just the blue because it was a thicker material I think that caused the issue so I'm just going to give them a good old press down with my bone folder make sure I'm happy but that's how we're looking now. So that's that first part. Next, before I lose it, I'm going to look, look at my greeting. And this is where I've got my Merry Christmas. And what I've actually used is a gold gel pen. Not, not nothing expensive, nothing that you can't get. I think, in fact, I think I got a shed load of them for about three or four pounds from uh, Aldi. And they actually fit the scan and cut without padding anything out. And they do a reasonable job. So I'm just going to stick that, and there were about three or four different golds in the set to choose from. So I'm just going to map this up onto my red, leaving a border around. So I just need to make sure that we're happy with the border. So just bear with me while I get that on to the matting layer underneath. And there we've got our greeting, which is going to come at the bottom of the card here. Okay. And the red is what's going to give us our pop of colour. Now, like I said, I've left this on the mat so we can paper piece it in so I can see where it's going. So if I keep my mat here and I turn it this way, then I'll know what's going where. So I'm going to start with this biggish piece here. So I'm just going to retrieve that from the mat. I just thought that if I let them out, come out before, oops, then I might have the devil's job trying to piece them back in, trying to remember where they went and so on. So that's the first one in. It's slipping everywhere. Actually, I think I'm going to do it this way, upside down, because I think that'll be easier for me. So then I'm going to do this piece, which is going here. So again, just a little bit of the glue and piece it back in 
like so and they should fit perfectly because you have used the same size to cut them out so this is another strange piece here so like I say they should fit perfectly if you get them lined up that's going in there it's looking good then we've got this piece here I'm just working my way around the flower and I'll get to the tiny teeny bits in a bit so again just placing this in and I just like this technique I just think it makes it look like um, a bit special I like the uh, piece back in if you will technique so there we go once you've got it lined up it should fit in perfectly so now we're on to this piece so I'm just gradually working my way around and it does take a little bit of time but it doesn't take very long at all to actually cut them out so that doesn't take hardly any time and if you it just this bit is the nice bit is the putting it back together again that's a bit more therapeutic and um, enjoyable so if uh, you want to fast forward a little bit to the till we get to a bit further on in the video then feel free but or you can stay with me um, I'm just wondering what everybody's up to as everybody started the Christmas cards you could leave me a comment below that would be nice to see where everybody's getting what everybody's getting up to so um, I know I've started doing mine I'll show you some that I've started which I've been stamping and I've used and I've used the file whoops that I created which was the wobbler the um, scalloped wobbler card if you will that I used to make these cards that I'm talking about now and I think they, they're coming out quite nice but, um, I've done four up to now and I'm kind of I've done four or three three or four so I've got a partridge in a pear tree two turtle doves and three french hens so these were, that was just a free stamp set with a magazine and they're meant to stand up, like I said, like a wobbler. So they wobble because they catch the wind. They do stand up, but yeah, you can make them got a bit more interactive if you will. So yeah, that's where I'm up to with those. So I'm making those for my colleagues at, at work because they know that I do a lot of card making. So yeah, I think it's all good. That's going in here. I'm just going to use my pick up tool because the bits are getting small now. Hang on, I think I've selected the wrong place. I think that's where the leaf's going. That's where this one's going. This is what I was afraid of that if I took them off the mat, I'd get totally confused what was going where and end up sticking them in the wrong places. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Might seem a little bit more tedious for you, but it's working for me. So, either you can, can stick with me or fast forward past this part now if you get the, if you've got the idea. Or you can stick around and we'll have a little chat. So, I've been enjoying the week off school. I've got lots done, lots of designs made ready for this Christmas thing. I'm going to be doing a penny slider, a couple of different designs of penny sliders. One's got a, a fairly straight, slightly rippled effect if you will but then it's um, going to be a little reindeer if you will on the on the actual penny so it's like I'm thinking that you're going to have some snowflakes and such like in the background and then the little um, reindeer will scooch along the card as you tip it from one side to the other once you get the penny mechanism on there so yeah it's quite I think it's come out quite cute but um, that's another one of my 12 projects that I've done and I've also done a different penny slider which is the penny slider snowflake and this one kind of goes round in a circle almost so it, it flicks round your page so it's great for kids the kids absolutely love stuff that moves like that so if you're sending one to a family of you know sort of mum dad and children they'll like that one it's a good like nice family card then I've also got an what else have I got? Oh, I've got another similar to this, but it's like a little snowman family that I'll be doing. 
and I've got designed already a like a nativity scene that's more or less not completely but more or less kind of in silhouette with the little stable and the, and the little um, pieces that make it up so yeah I've got quite a, a bit done this week while I've been off school that's because I worked really really hard the week before we finished so I could actually have a week off because I just felt like I needed a complete break I was getting to feel a bit burnt out with everything that's going on at school this term we've had a lot of um, late night things going on and so we've it, it all eats into your time for planning and marking and stuff so it's kind of nice now really just to relax a bit and and it's been nice being able to have the week off without feeling guilty that I wasn't getting my school work done because I'd got everything that I needed to do finished before we actually finished for the week's holiday which it doesn't usually happen but I did work really really hard on that last week and people that are teachers will know just how difficult sometimes it is especially when you're coming up to a holiday you people think that teachers get loads of holidays and we, on paper we do but when you think of the amount of work we have to get through in the holidays usually we don't like really get as much as what people think but I, I've given over arguing with people that think that we just do a, a three o'clock finish and that's it very rarely I get home anywhere near three o'clock but I'm not complaining I look and doing what I love and that's um, helping children to achieve the to the best of their ability and that's all I could ask for really and on the whole I know we can have some problem children and we probably all know some but on the whole my classes that I've got are really nice kids so 